Yes, good morning, children. Uh, we are doing this chapter the better. Fine. Uh, I have written some points for the students who never joined the class you know, earlier that time. So please, so that it can be clear to them. Uh, let me introduce the characters once again. Lashkar, who is the protagonist, you can say, beggar of the story. Fine. Then we have uh, Sir Jai. He is an advocate by profession. And then we have Olga. She is cook of Sir Jai. She works at Sir Jai's house. Okay. So these are the three characters we have. Lashkov is, you know, uh, very, you can say, lazy kind of person who doesn't be, uh, feel like putting in efforts to earn money. And he cooks up the stories that sometimes that he's a, he's a middle-aged teacher and sometimes he says something else. And, and he keeps on mincing money from the people for free. So in the beginning of the chapter, we see him begging money to Sir Jai, an advocate. And advocate, you know, immediately he started having uh, apprehensions that okay, he has seen this man somewhere. When he sees his shoes, then he recognizes that you are the same person. The other day you were telling me that you are an, uh, a teacher and one day you were telling me you were a student and today you are telling me that you were a teacher and all. Wait, wait. <coughs> Okay, so uh, Sir Jai was able to recognize Lashkov and then Lashkov, uh, you know, introduces himself as the okay, yes, and neither I'm a teacher nor a student. So this is the only way my tough times are going on and I, that's why I beg, otherwise I will not, uh, you know, be able to survive. So Sir Jai offers him job. You can see that a beggar asks Sir Jai for some help, for some money. So Sir Jai, rather than, you know, he recognizes that this person keeps on changing his uh, stories and he keeps on asking for money. But Sajai offers him job. He says you can cut wood and all logs of wood at my place. So uh, Olga is already working with Sajai as a cook. So Olga, Sajai's cook, you know, she gave uh, the beggar an eggs so that he can start cutting the wood and all. Olga tells Sajai the work has been, uh, the wood has been chopped, the work has been done, the beggar was paid off. Yeah, so we have read so far that beggar work, it was not the permanent work that beggar got at Sir Jai's house. That was a temporary work. So that, you know, it was so nice of this uh, man, Sir Jai, that advocate, that who offered, uh, you can say, work to this uh, man, Lashkov, and he also encouraged him to work rather than begging. You have seen many people, you know, at Signals, they keep on begging for money and all. Even then they are healthy and hearty, they are fit and fine, even then they ask for money for free. Rather than they should get some work. Fine, so Sajai encourages Lashkov that you should work and I will give you some work. And he goes there, uske ghar pe aata hai, wood, uh, kehte ki, even after cutting the wood, at the very first of every month, I will be calling you for some menial work. Kabi wood cutting ka, kabi packing ka. When Sajai was moving to new house, he again calls Lashkov to pack the luggage and all. Means he get, gives him so many menial jobs so that he can survive. Begging se achha ki thoda kaam hi kar le. Clear? Yeah. So that was so nice of Sir Jai that advocate. Okay. Now we will be continuing and uh, who wants to read? Please raise your hand. Yes. Yes, Jia, you can read better. Yes, ma'am. Next, he saw the pseudo teacher seat himself on a log and become lost in thought with his red cheeks resting on his feet, fists. The woman flung down an X at his feet, spat angrily, and judging from the expression of her lips, began to scold him. The beggar ir irresolutely pulled a billet of wood towards him, set it up between his feet and tapped it fe feebly with the axe. The billet wavered and fell down. The beggar again pulled it to him, blew on his freezing hands and tapped it with his axe, cautiously, as if afraid of his hitting his overshoe or of cutting off his figure, finger. The stick of wood again fell to the ground. What happens here? 
pseudo teacher means uh, this that fake teacher he you know introduced himself as you can see this boy he would introduce himself sometime as a student and sometime as a teacher so this nakli jo tha pseudo means so that fake teacher you know he when he got the job by sanjay then sanjay asked his cook olga to hand him over the work of log cutting or wood cutting so usko leke jati hai in the opposite room then he, she also asked handed over him uh, an egg so kehti ki okay let's start cutting the wood and all because this man has never worked in his entire life jisko free mein khane ki aadat ho for it's very difficult for that person to work so she was you know alga ka character sketch humne us din kara tha that she was very ill mannered lady she was very rude while talking to others she never you know spoke nicely and softly to others but in heart of hearts she was a very nice lady she was kind also so she was like a coconut bahar se she is so hard but andar se she is so soft she loves others also but she is pretending that she hates this man who has come here and she flunged down an axe to his feet girati ki ye le pakad you know in an angry way she gives an and uh, uh, she as if she was scolding and saying something and she was mumbling in her lips तो दिस लश्कॉफ वॉज सीन की अच्छा ही तो मुझे डांट रही एंड शी इज लाइक होल्डिंग मी द बेगर इनरेजोल्यूटली इनरेजोल्यूटली मीन विदाउट द विश ही डिड नॉट हैव द विश टू वर्क ही वॉज सो कैजुअल यू नो सो ही टुक बिल्लेट ऑफ वुड बिल्लेट का मीनिंग गिवन है थिक पीस ऑफ वुड ही कैप्ट एंड ही स्टार्टेड यू नो कटिंग बट ही वॉज नॉट डूइंग इट प्रॉपरली बेगर अगैन इट फेल डाउन तो अच्छे से नहीं पकड़ा इट फेल डाउन अगैन ही पुल्ड इट and again a freezing hands because it was too cold over there very much cold and his hands were freezing and you know he started using the axe and as if he will he was so afraid of cutting his uh, uh, shoe or his finger and you know again the stick fell on the ground so when you are not at all uh, having the experience of working of any skill then this happens to you jo jisko kaam karne ki aadat ho jo pehle number pe the person who is very hard working he will without any saying no he will pick up the work secondly he will do it nicely also half heartedly jab aap koi kaam karte ho to aise hi hote so he was not able to do it in a proper way because it was not nice way of doing so sajai's anger had vanished and uh, he now began to feel a little sorry and ashamed of himself for having set a spoiled drunken perhaps a sick man to work at menial labor in the pool menial means very small labor so sarjay was you know he was also a good man so sarjay that advocate felt kitni thand hai i called this man is he's a drunkard you know and spoiled and maybe he's sick and why i called him to cut the log hai na kyu maine aisa kiya iske saath so he was feeling bad about it yes jia continue and now little An hour later, Olga came in and announced that the wood had all been chopped. Good, give him half a ruble," said Sir Jai. "If he wants to, he can come back and cut wood on the first day of each month. We will, we can always find work for him. On the first of the month, the waif made his appearance and again earned half a ruble. Ruble, although he could barely stand on his legs." from the from that day on he often appeared in the yard and every time work was found for him so uh, what was the decision of sajai sajai firstly felt very bad ki itna chhota sa kaam usko diya and he might be sick and he's a drunkard and in such a cold weather i'm giving him this chopping of the wood then each time wo sochta raha and then one hour passed and olga the cook of sajai she came and she told him that wood has been chopped sir and good give him a half a ruble ruble is currency okay russian currency hai so he gives half a ruble to him and he goes off then next time also he calls him on the first of every month the waif waif means homeless person a wanderer jisko koi ghar nahi hota so that person again comes to their house at the very first of every month when every time he would get some work and he would get money uh, out of it also fine and work was found for him jaan bus ke work hota nahi tha but that this is so nice of sir jai that he arranged a work for him then what sort of works please read <coughs> now he yes dear now he would shovel snow 
Now put the woodshed in order. Now beat the dust out of rugs and mattresses. Every time he received from 20 to 40 kopecks and once, even a pair of old trousers were sent out to him. So please, then underline, Sajai moved uh, please underline the works done by menial job, the chote chote jo kaam mile usko, at the house of Sajai. He got shoveling of the snow. You know, when snow is covering the whole passage, then you need to remove it with a with a help of shovel, that instrument, right? Then put the woodshed in order, woodshed ko achche se rakh do, just by, for the sake of giving him work, you know, to make him work. That's why Sajai was searching work for him. Beat the dust, rugs me se dust nikalo, mattress clean kar do. So such sort of very small works and he was getting 20 to 40 kopecks and sometimes a pair of trousers and such kind of things he was giving him. Then. When Sajai moved into another house, he hired him to help in the packing and hauling of the furniture. This time the wave was sober, gloomy and silent. He hardly touched the furniture and walked behind the wagons, hang hanging his head, not even making a pre pretense of appearing busy. He only shivered in the cold and became embarrassed when the carters jeered at him for his idleness, his feebleness, and his tattered, fancy overcoat. After the moving was over, Sajai sent for him. Now, one day what happened, Sajai, you know, he was going to move to another house. He bought another house and he thought, okay, should I call this man again? And he will help in packing and I will pay him some money. So when this man was called upon, you know, for packing, this time there was a change in his behavior. What sort of change? Earlier when he would come for menial jobs, there was no change in him at all. He would come and he would get money after the work was done. But this time when he came for packing of the luggage, he was so simple and sober and gloomy. Gloomy means sad. He was a silent. He was not speaking. He did not touch the furniture. He did not do anything. In, he didn't help in packing also. Wagons jo bulaye gaye the, means jo cart hota hai, jisme luggage leke jana hai. You know, then you might have heard about movers and packers. Movers and packers, okay, when you need to shift somewhere, you call the agency, they will send you the people who will help you in packing the luggage and who will help you in sending or cheese So there were many other people, wagons were there. They were working, but this man was not at all working. He did not, otherwise he would show something to Sarjay, yes, he's working. He used to pretend, pretense means to show to others of appearing busy, he may both busy and all that stuff. But now this time when he came for packing, he did not show any of the response. He was shivering in cold, he was embarrassed. The carters, jo the, those who were taking the luggage out, they were you know jeer, jeering at him, they were making fun of him uh, for that how stupid he is, how weak he is, how idle he is, and tattered, you know, why he's coming here. And then work was done without the help of Lashkov, the beggar. And then Sarjai called, sent for him, he's called him. Fine. So why that change came over him, we don't know. We will read about it. Well, I'm happy that my words have taken effect. He said, handling him a rubble. Here's for your pains. I see you are sober and have no objection to work. What is your name? Lashkov. Well, let's yes, better continue. I guess there is some uh, connection problem, Jia. I'll continue in your place. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Any network issues are there? You can continue reading, better. Uh, I have highlighted. Okay, ma'am. Well, I'm happy that my words have taken effect. He said, handling him a rubble. Here's for your pain. I see you are sober and have no objection to work. What is your name? Lashkov. Well, Lashkov, I can now offer you some other cleaner employment. Can you write? I can. Then take this letter to a friend of mine tomorrow and you will be given some copying to do. Work hard, don't drink and remember what I have said to you. Goodbye. Now, what happens is, he was so happy, Sarjai, that advocate, he was so happy 
that he helped this man in achieving his you know uh, when he saw this man begging he didn't like this and when he got to know he to alag alag tarike se begging karta hai sometimes he tell the fake story of being a student and sometimes he tell the fake story of being a teacher who was uh, sent out of the university and college and all and then he inspired him to work hard and he also offered many jobs to him so when he saw that this man has started taking his uh, instruction seriously and whenever i call him he comes and he works and all but this time he has become so serious to usko lagta hai ki sach mein serious ho gaya otherwise he was not a sober man but now after so many uh, getting so many work from my side he has become very serious so this is the time i should offer him some good job which will fetch him permanent income otherwise he was getting you know half a rubble or some kopecks and he was sometime he was getting money sometime he was not getting so usko puchta hai can you write he says yes i can write okay if you can write i will give you some work you know you need to meet my friend and uh, there you just need to do work of copying fine work hard kada drink mat karna and remember uh, work hard only and definitely you will get and see he was so happy ki ab main house shift kar liya hai and i won't be calling him at my house anymore to help him and he will go to this job which i have offered to him fine and he was so happy that uh, you know sarjay was so satisfied ki maine isko sahi jagah pe show kiya rasta and otherwise he was very casual and he never used to work and lashkov took this letter uh, from uh, sarjay and uh, next day he came no and he never came to work over there at sarjay's house up two years passed then two years went by then one evening as sarjay was standing at the ticket window of a theater paying for his seat he noticed a little man beside him with a coat collar of curly fur and a worn seal skin cap this little individual timidly asked the ticket seller for a seat in the gallery and paid for it in copper coins lashkov is that you cried sarjay recognizing him recognizing in the little man his former wood chopper how are you what are you doing how is everything with you all right i am a notary now and i am paid 35 rubles a month now see after 2 years when he met the same man that small little man and he recognizes him immediately sir jai was so happy to see that okay this is the same man he was standing at the ticket window to of a theater to buy him seat you know he noticed uh, this uh, man and he asked him sir jai it is you lashkov is it you and uh, you know uh, how are you what are you doing how's everything with you he says fine i'm okay i'm a notary now you know uh, a person who works with some paper work stamping and all or sometimes uh, uh, official uh, documents jo banane hote hain you know then there is work of notary because he could read and write he started a job over there so he asked okay uh, i am a notary now and i am paid 35 rubles a month see kaha pe usko half a ruble aur kuch kopecks milte the wo bhi once a month when this man he would give him but now he is earning 35 rubles a month which was good amount as compared to earlier incomes thank heaven that's fine now please read it ji yeah. thank heaven that's fine i'm delighted for your sake i'm very very glad lashkov you see you are my godson in a sense i gave you a push along the right path you know do you remember what roasting i gave you i nearly had you sinking into the ground at my feet that day thank you old man for not forgetting my words thank you too said lashkov now see he got a job as a notary means it's a big thing for a beggar lashkov who was begging from others but now he's a person authorized to do some uh, you know legal formalities jab hum kuch bhi aap jaise suppose aapne koi properties ka kaam karna hai you need some legalized papers for that you will go to a notary for stamping and all or sometimes to you know get some uh, uh, legal work jo hote hain through the notary only you will be able to do it so he got such a noble job and uh, you know and uh, at such a uh, good place and good designation and he thought uh, sajay is you know taking the whole credit you can see sajay is talking to this boy 
named uh, Lashkov, and he's saying, Ki, "Thank God, thank heaven, mean thank God that I'm so happy." You know, Lashkov, uh, you are my godson in a sense. Kaise? Because I gave you a push to follow the right path. You know, Tujhe yaad hai? so he's taking the credit that you were sinking into the ground at my feet that day, and uh, you know. You never forgot my words. You followed my instructions. कि मेरी वजह से तू है जो है आज. So he was taking this credit. So thank you to said Lashkov. If I had not come to you, then I might not still have been calling myself a teacher or a student to this day. Yes, by flying to your protection, I dragged myself out of a pit. Pit क्या होता है? खड्डा जिसमें आप गिर जाते हो. Fine. So he's saying, but thank you, sir. Yes, I met you that day. and if i didn't uh, meet you that day i still would have been calling me as a teacher or a student and i would have been begging to the people so yes i thank you uh, that you met me that day and us pit mein se mujhe aapne nikala and in the darkness i was begging only and now i am having a good life you know earlier wo tattered clothes dalta tha kuch khane peene ko nahi hota tha and he has to beg i am very glad indeed thank you for your kind words and deeds i am very grateful to you and to your cook see here is the ending of the story the twist of the story comes here now he is thinking that it is me due to whom lashkov have been changed totally but lashkov is going to disclose something to sir jai he says thank you for your kind words and deeds sir i am grateful to you and your cook God bless that good and noble woman. You spoke finally then, and I shall be indebted to you to my dying day. But strictly speaking, it was your cook Olga who saved me. So he is not giving this credit of this behavioral change to Sir Jai. This man is giving the whole credit of his behavioral change to that cook Olga. Why? Let's read that. Yes, Jia, please read. How's that? Sir Jai ne pucha. Ye kaise ho gaya that how you are uh, you know uh, saying that Olga has changed your life? How come? When I used to come to your house to chop wood, she used to begin, "Oh, you sot, you, oh, you miserable creature! There's nothing for you but ruin." And then she would sit down opposite me and grow sad, look into my face and weep. Oh, you unlucky man! That there is no pleasure for you in this world, and there will be none, no one in the world to come. You drunkard! You will burn in hell. Oh, you unhappy one! And so she would carry on. You know, in the in that strain, I can I can't tell you how much misery she suffered, how many tears she shed for my sake. But the chief thing was, she used to chop the wood for me. Read it. Read it. Pura padho. Do you know, sir, that I did not chop a single stick of wood for you. She did it all. Why did why this save me? Why I changed? Why I stopped drinking at the sight of her? I cannot explain. Hmm. I only know that, owing to her words and noble deeds, a change took place in my heart. She set me right, and I shall never forget it. However, it is time to go now. There goes the bell. Lashkov bowed and departed to the gallery. So see, this is the reason he was changed. He disclosed to Sir Jai that it was not you, sir, that you changed me. It was your cook Olga. You know, uh, I told you that Olga was very uh, ill-tempered lady. कि वो बोलने में बहुत and you know some people are very rude in talking, but they are very good at heart. So she was, you know, बहुत गलत बोलती थी. She says you are a drunkard, you are a sot. S O T. Sot means a habitual drunkard. You always drink, and there is no place of such people in this world. Na tujhe yaha jaga milni hai na aane wale time mein. She kept on scolding him all the time. Saath saath mein usko scolding karti hai, and in and along with that she would cry. Why she would cry? Because she was so much touched by seeing the condition of this man. Ki this man, you know, he is not at all into the habit of working, and he is not able to cut the wood properly. And Olga was very hard working lady. 
being a lady she would take care of each and everything at home all alone she would cook food and she was the one who was chopping wood up kab yaad aaya jab usse bar bar log of wood gir raha tha and he was not able to chop it properly who helped him to chop the wood it was olga olga snatched the axe from him and she cut the whole wood within an hour and then she came to tell sarjay ki wood has been chopped agar wo gandi hoti if she has been a bad persona she would have told that he you know uh, i have chopped the wood that man is doing nothing he came out of the house so she was not at all a bad lady she was very good so that's why she did not tell anything to sarjay ki i am working on in his behalf to so, jab bhi koi kaam aa raha tha actually you remember why he was sad at the day of moving and packing of the day because whatever work of uh, uh, you can say he was getting it was done by olga that cook and then it and you know he is saying that i am not able to explain sir lashkov that beggar is saying i am not able to explain why i changed how that lady changed me mai explain nahi kar sakta hu i cannot explain i only know that owing to her words and noble deeds you know uske words ne mujhe jo negative words usne bole and साथ में शी ऑल्सो डिड यू नो अ कमेंडेबल जॉब डांटती थी जैसे मदर्स होती हैं आपको डांटती है फिर खाना भी खिलाती है इन दैट वे शी वुड यू नो स्कोल्ड हिम एंड देन शी वुड डू होल वर्क ऑल अलोन एंड देन ही यू नो वॉज रिफॉर्म्ड बाई सी द चेंज शी सेट मी राइट मीन आई विल नेवर फॉर गेट इन माई लाइफ दैट हाउ एवर इट इज टाइम टू गो नाउ सो बेल हो जाती है एंड ही इज वर्किंग एज अ नोटरी एट दैट at appointed place and he well ho jati and he has to go back to his work and it was a big shock for sir jay ki you know he was taking the whole credit and even we were we were thinking ki sir jay ne usko change kiya no it was not sir jay it was olga who changed the life of this beggar nashko what is the message you got now you tell me jaldi se raise your hands and you tell me what is the message you got from this story jaldi jaldi se raise your hands otherwise i will name you any of you can raise hand and oh oops then no need you just tell me the message you received and uh, tomorrow we will do question answers of this chapter kisi ko koi message samajh mein nahi aaya is chapter ka nobody is able to understand what we have learned out of this story yes 30 students in the meeting and nobody is giving me the answer it means 10 will be sleeping the other 10 will be jia will not answer jia has already read the chapter i want another participant or bhi bacche participate kare beta surveen answer this jiska answer nahi aaya usko action mark kar dena ji anshu ka she is taking the charge of those go in between the meeting also So Riyanshika has texted in the chat box. We are the ones who make our life happy or sad. Yes, this is one of the themes, one of the messages which we get. We can change our life. We can make our life, or we can mar our life. M A R. Fine. It's our life is in our hands. One message. Second message. You can type in the chat box. I will announce the names. So those who are hesitant of speaking. one can make one's life happy journey through work so the diksha has work uh, uh, like mentioned the work is worship you know work is more important harmeet the story gives the message that it is counseling and benevolence that a wayward can see his errors and mend his life yes counseling is required in life when someone in need of help we should give that person a helping hand yes if we help someone we should not try to have credit of it very good success only comes with hard work in a good pathway yes aryan so all the students who have answered brilliantly beta sare messages aapne khud de liye yes this is success only comes with hard work in a good pathway yes so basic message is basic message which we get yes the pride leads to the downfall of many yes that also so the story conveys the message that noble deeds can change even the most stubborn of the man basic and good deeds of the other persons can change the most stubborn person also find importance of work 
uh, one should not remain idle in life one should not tell a lie in life point importance of work aa gaya and uh, and be uh, you know always ready to help others and rather than uh, cribbing for what they are try to change them by your good deeds and your behavior can change others so this is the basic theme which we have learned okay well ho chuki hai have a nice day and please re uh, read the chapter again and you will give me the answers of all the questions tomorrow